Well, I say there are two ways to approach this problem. You have the choice. Our goal is actually when I look at what says area of sector ABC. That means I want the area out here. So what I can do is find the area of the whole circle and then subtract just the 30 degree sector. Or I can approach it by finding the area of just the stuff that I want by using that proportion. Now the book has a formula. Let me write that one down so you have it if you're a big formula junkie. The area of a sector is pi r squared times m over 360. And the reason that it's set up that way is m is the degrees of the central angle. I'm not a fan of this formula because you're not going to see it in too many other contexts. If there's a formula sheet like on the ACT, they might not use that particular formula, so you don't want to get hung up on it. And I prefer to think of these as proportion problems. So I'm asking myself, can I make a proportion that will get me the same answer? So first, though, let's get the area of the whole circle. So let's take this in two steps. The area of the whole circle, pi r squared. So that's going to be pi times 20 pixels squared. Now, I'm using pixels because when we do computer graphics back in the days, it used to matter how many dots a certain sprite was made up of because it would determine how long it took the computer to draw it. So if your sprite had too much art to it, it slowed the game down because that's the way games were built. It was before we had 3D modeling and everything else that we use now. Maybe you go play an old, old tool game of Pac-Man. This was actually some of a factor. So this is going to work out to be 400 pi. And that's going to be the area of the whole circle. So I'm going to use that as part of a proportion. The part I want is 330 out of 360. I don't want that 30 degree wedge. I want the, the other 330 degrees. So 330 degrees out of 360 is what area out of the whole area I'm looking at. And that's going to be the proportion I solve to give me the area of that sector. So now I can go ahead and cross multiply. So 330 times 400 pi is equal to 360a which simplifies, and I'm going to go ahead and go straight to my, I'm going to stay in, uh, if I can, in terms of pi until the very end. So 330 times 400 puts me at uh, 132,000. And then divide both sides by 360. I get an answer of 366.7 pi, which times 3.14, uh, 1151.3. And that would be the area in square pixels that make up the shaded region, sector A, B, C. And also notice the sector is labeled using three letters so that I go the right direction around it. If I just ask for sector AC, that would be the short part. That would be the, the piece of pizza that's currently blanked out, not the shaded part I wanted. So I use three letters to indicate I'm looking at the major arc, the larger way of getting from point A to point B, or point C in this case. How we do? What can I say about this one? Okay.